Hello, in this video I'll be explaining the sulfonation reaction of amines and why aniline does not give does not undergo further graphs reaction that is both alkylation and acetylation reaction. Now sulfonation reaction in so in the sulfonation reaction aniline reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid to form anilinium hydrogen sulfate which on heating with sulfuric acid at 453 to 475 Kelvin produces paraamino benzene sulfonic acid or also it is commonly known as the sulfonylic acid which is obtained as a major product. Now therefore let, let us write the chemical reaction for the sulfonation reaction of amines. Aniline Aniline reacts with sulfur concentrated sulfuric acid to give anilinium hydrogen sulfate. This is an H three HSO four minus. This will be plus. This is known as anilinium hydrogen. Sulfate. This is known as anilium hydrogen sulfate, and when this is heated with sulfuric acid, again, and add 453 to 473 Kelvin, it rearranges with the remo there is removal of water rearrangement. Rearrangement occurs, and then we'll be getting here. NH3 This is our This is our sulfonylic acid and this is this also I can res is resonance re stabilize resonance stabilization takes place to get here we will be getting here a zwitter ion now this is known as zwitter ion of sulfonylic acid. This is the zwitter ion is resonance stabilized. Now this is we know that the NH2 here is a basic group and as here the NH2 NH2 here is a basic group and the SO3H is an acidic group. Therefore this is also this is known as the sulfonylic acid or the para amino sulfonic acid now to check this reaction let's check the mechanism firstly now sulfuric acid we know how do we get sulfuric acid let's write here this is H2SO4 This is our H2SO4 molecule. Now, this oxygen to lone pair comes here, attack, attacks here. This cause and adds up to hydrogen. Therefore, we'll, there will be removal of minus O. This will be leaving, therefore, O min minus of SO3H. And we'll be getting here HOH and then SO3H. Now, this oxygen atom will have a positive sign here now with the removal of water from here when water is removed will be this water molecule is removed this goes up here therefore the removal of water we will be getting SO3H plus now this will be our electrophile here therefore the mechanism here NH2 is a molecule now when it breaks with N now we know that when we add CH3CO O2 we, when an acid and when an anhydride in we, we add here a stylation reaction takes place the NH2 group is the activating group the reactivity of the NH2 group is controlled therefore we will be getting here NHC double bond zero 
CH3, the same gas as it happened in bromination. Now, since the NH2 group here, the lone pair would come here, and then this would go, and this is resonance or this, it is stabilized now, but it protects the lone pair on the nitrogen. This reaction, the stylation reaction, it protects the lone pair on the nitrogen atom now. Therefore, when it reacts with H2SO4, from this H2SO4, our electrophile here is. This is our electrophile now, therefore when it attacks here, we will be getting an H, C double bond, CH3 and SO3H, the same gas as in the bromination reaction. Now this on hydrolyze we will be getting SO3H and H2. Now this can also be represented in the zwitter ion form that is NH3 plus this will be NH3 plus and then SO3 minus therefore this is the zwitter ion form of sulfonylic acid and this is our sulfonylic acid molecule. Now therefore this is the mechanism reaction on how the NH2 group was protected by controlling its reactivity by acetylation reaction and then sulfonation occurred with hydrogen uh, concentrated sulfuric acid where SO3H was our electrophile. The electrophile came and attached to the barrier position because if it were the attacher the steric hindrance would not allow it is to attach here and symmetry would be more com comfortable here therefore the SO3 our electrophile can and attach here and therefore on resulting hydrolysis we got a resulting product that is our sulfonylic acid which can be represented in its sweeter ion form that is this molecule and therefore this is the sulfonation reaction of amines now the most important question arises here why does aniline not undergo photographs alkylation and acylation reaction this is one of the med this is an important question for your exams as well. Therefore, let us check why aniline does not undergo fertile crafts reaction. Okay, aniline does not undergo fertile crafts reaction because there is a form salt formation with aluminium chloride and the Lewis acid with that is which is aline Aluminium we use aluminium chloride as a catalyst in during the uh, fiddle crafts alkylation and acylation reaction. Aluminium chloride is used as a catalyst which is a Lewis acid. Now the reaction here, this is our anilin molecule. Now this is our fiddle fiddle crafts alkylation reaction now in this first step we use CH3Cl and aluminium chloride we use as a catalyst in alkylation reaction and in fertile crafts acylation reaction in acylation reaction we use an acyl group with aluminium chloride as the catalyst in both directions now we know that aniline the aniline is a Lewis base Lewis base and Lewis base are known as electron electron now Lewis base are known as electron donor now aniline uh, is a Lewis base Lewis base here and our aluminium chloride is a Lewis acid here now the Lewis acid here and a Lewis we have our Lewis acid and a Lewis base so when an acid and a base we will be getting the formation of an salt, the formation of an adult here, this will be plus and then this will be minus. Now this results in the formation of an adduct or a salt formation reaction. Now due to this reaction, the nitrogen on aniline acquires a positive charge. We know here that this ni the nitrogen on atom the nitrogen on aniline has acquired a positive charge here and hence it acts as a strong since the positive charge it acts as a deactivating it becomes a deactivating group and that further reaction is very hard 
to undergo because the activating group on aniline has made it has met the aniline molecule not available for further reaction. Therefore, from this we can say that aniline does not undergo fetal grafts, both of fetal grafts alkylation and acylation reactions.